the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. God bless you. I appreciate you uh, uh, to joining us and doing our Bible study for the week. Um, and and they just, I break them down in segments. And so I and thank you for uh, taking time to listen to this one that you're going to listen to. And we will encourage you to continue to subscribe and, and, and make comments. And we'll just continue to allow the Holy Spirit to perfect us to do those things that are important. I do want to make sure that one of the things we talked about, the fact is, read the scriptures for yourself. Read the scriptures for yourself. Read the Bible for yourself. Read it and incorporate it in your prayer life. And that's what I do. I like to read the one chapter of the New Testament in the morning and one chapter of the Old Testament at night. You can reverse that, but you need to read the scriptures for yourself and you get better appreciation for the teaching of others that teach the gospel because you they're lining up with the word of god the, the what we talked about today was once again we got the catholic church is is the pope is apologizing for some of the colonial tools and techniques that was used during that time uh that was really not lined up with the gospel the missionary that was a preach the gospel not encourage uh, they call it the doctrine of discovery which is really another colorful way of saying uh, of conquering and putting people in slavery and the fact is that that does not line up with the scripture but if people never knew the scripture people can read the scripture people don't understand the scriptures they can be deceived what i'm saying is for you in 2023 there is no excuse amen so listen to this the, the, this segment here uh we talked about the fact is that uh, the at least i use this one it still focus on the steal kill and destroy but i did put down there this title that uh, the Pope is actually talking about the, the doctrine of discovery. Uh, so the Catholic, the Catholic Pope is addressing the doctrine of discovery, which really is a doctrine of steal, kill, and destroy. Taking other people's land, taking other people's lives, taking, just destroying who they are, for it, and try to say to do it in the name of Christ. And I'm telling you that that is not the doctrine of Christ. So let's, so that's why it's important for you to, be, to read it now. 2023, you don't have an excuse. Matter of fact, 2023 does not give you an excuse. You don't have an excuse for discrimination. You have no excuse for lying and, and trying to torment people and everything else. You don't have an excuse for it. You, you can't use Christianity to excuse. And that's what we want to make sure that you as a believer follow the way of Christ. John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. So we got to go His way if we want eternal life. That's a choice. Or you can continue to do the world's way. You can continue to do the rape, the stealing, the killing, the destroying. You can do all those things because you're not following Christ. But don't be deceived to say you are when you're not. That's the point I'm trying to bring out to you, man. So that's what the study is about. Uh, like I said, we'll break it out to A, B, C, and D. And I'll see you when I see you. And don't forget to subscribe. God bless you. And I'll see you later. Enjoy the study coming up. Bye-bye. And to start off, like you said, you always love that first part of the book of Acts when they were yep. giving, redistributing yeah. that, 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 that's, to the needs. That's all I see. And, when, and, and, and <laughs> just like I say, the craziest thing is you never hear that minister that again. taught in any church. Nope. I've oh, never I... heard nobody minister. And I didn't even know it existed until I read it. Yeah. I was reading something like this morning. <laughs> I think it was, uh, what was I reading? Timothy. I read Timothy, one of them. It was talking about even the, uh, the responsibility of the church taking care of widows. Uh, yeah. It even said on this, I thought it was interesting when I was reading it. It, it said the children are supposed to make sure they take care of their family. Yes. Parents, 
right? Is 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 there? And and uh, then it was said for widows, they at least that scripture. I mean, maybe it's wrong, but it was saying you need to be sixty to be called yourself a widow. Yeah. If you if you are a young woman. And, oh, and you got to get out there and get your hustle on. Yeah, you need you need you need to go get your husband. Find get a little husband come to you because just what you're going to give your attention to. Yeah. You're going to give your attention to your needs. Uh, yeah. Well, but, well, but but even if that's not their desire to to have a husband, you know, and they they still they still have somebody else. They're, they're still the ministry. <laughs> they're, they're the ministry, you know. Right. There's yeah. still wisdom there that could be gleaned from younger. Well, that would have said the older teach the younger. Yeah. Yeah. It's, but it's, it's, but it's we got to that. the point to where there there was a time to where the older. Uh, weren't teaching the younger, nope. you know, and then and then the government got into the household and restricted, you know, uh, discipline and 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 prevented uh, parents from raising the kids the way they they should be raised. Exactly. You know, we, I I remember a time where kids were threatening to report their their parents when their parents were trying to discipline them from doing wrong. <laughs> I yeah. remember this. I remember when it first came out. There was a number. It would come on TV. <laughs> this number, if your parents are abusing you. Yeah. Kids were threatening their parents and, and holding their parents at bay from disciplining them yeah. when they're out there doing wrong. Yeah. You know, I mean, you have that generation, and then they get out there, and they're having babies when they're still babies themselves. And then where are the elders? You have a, a 25 year old, I mean, a, a 30 year old grandparent. Right. 30 it's year like, old grandparent. Yeah, yeah. And and, and uh, it's just. 40 year old with, with great grandchildren. That That's what we said, try to do it our way instead of God's way. Yeah. You know what I mean? We, we, we're not teaching people. That's they man, don't know the truth. They don't know man, the truth. Man, and, man, and, we, and we gotta encourage people to know the truth. That's the whole point. And and that's what we said this. And I thought it was encouraging to listen to see the Catholic trying to address yeah. those wrong. That's a beginning. For it's a, a lot start. of people. It is a start. And for the rest of us to just continue to work on these things. And and they need to understand what is a Christian, right? Yeah. And, and one of the things is not only read every day. I'm encouraging people to read the New Testament. Mm -hmm. and you need to read every day. It's not not a faith to come back heard it comes back hearing yeah. so you need to read every day and that's why we show this Lord's Prayer all the time don't we yeah. I call this a reminder prayer it says in fact is that you know who you're dressing every day you're not dressing your political party your your ministry your pastor anybody else you're addressing the father in heaven the creator of heaven and earth yeah you, you're doing his system see that because I, I was catching another article when they said the institutional that was a world system that yeah. the Catholic was talking about. The yeah. world system uh, was brutal and, and, and unkind. But we, you know, but uh, but let me let me just say this, and then, you know, you can go ahead and finish with your thought. But the fact that the Pope did that, and it didn't make the news, yeah. that that it was something that was, you know, a blip. Yeah, it did. It, Right. And the information error that you got to go and search this out. <laughs> you do. It right. wasn't on 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 national TV or on every yeah. station or something for for some. And that's how these things are. Yeah. Stuff that that go against the the society. Ooh. You won't hear about it. Wow. When it that's goes against the status quo of society, you won't hear about it. When it tries to correct, when it tries to inform on the on on the 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 evils yes. of this society, you won't hear about it, but you'll hear about everything else. Yeah, it's funny because look, I, I I was keyed into it when I heard it on TikTok. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it something about that, I was like, let me what the scuff? What's he talking about? So I looked yeah. it up and oh, he did do that. Wow. Uh, I seen something on TikTok where he said they did the he did something with the African leaders. Uh, they came to the Vatican. And he just went, just 
bow down and, and, and said, I'm sorry. And, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you're like, what is he doing? Because he knows the sin that yeah. has been happening. And it's like everybody else knows the sin that's been happening. And that's why they don't want to read the Bible too, because yeah. it's a contradiction of their behavior. Man's behavior is to hurt, to no, let's put it, call it what it is. Man's behavior outside of God is to steal, kill. Yeah, that's the default. That, you're born with that default. Woo, woo, man, that's the title for us. Born with the default to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah, that, that's just the nature uh, of your being. Deep. That, that is, that is the nature of man outside of the family of God. Deep. When you're not connected to that, Deep. that's your default. You can, you can be just as nice and giving as you want, but somewhere along the line, somewhere you are just as evil as everybody else. It's, where's your button? Where's your line at, right? Yeah, it's just who 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 is it? It could be an individual. Yeah. It could be a type of individual. It could be a belief. It is, yeah, yeah. It's there, it's what you're taught. It's a name. Well, Paul said it. In my flesh dwells well, no good thing. No so good thing. If you carnally no mind it. Good thing. Yeah. Like I said, and you have people, oh, I give to the poor, so I know I'm a good person. It's like you're hearing one thing and saying another. I was listening to George Myers the other day, and I was like, okay, it's what she's saying is she's, she's tracking. But it's like, are the people, are they not listening? Uh-huh. What do you think did I mean did, what did you go to service last week? Did you go? No, no I did not. Okay. Uh, are you planning on going today? Um I, I, I can't today. Okay. I, okay. I have uh I have some family things I gotta do. Okay. The only reason I'm saying is son either even in a uh, TV ministry or something is it listen to what they're saying. Mm-hmm. Because you're trying to think, okay. How do people who go there do something opposite after they leave there? Mm -hmm. what, what, what are they going there just to check the box? You know that's the that's the thing. Because I mean we've talked about it, you know, that, that Bible that sits in the back of your car. Yeah, yeah. Don't be picked up until you go and back. To make church. sure that you have it <laughs> that one day that you're gonna spend, you know, uh an in, hour in or two. Yeah. Yeah, in, in church. And, that, and that's what it is. I'm going to church. Mm. I'm going to church. Mm. I, I'm, I'm going to this service. Wow. Hey, look, and look, forget the fact is that you are the church. Yeah. And we're not teaching you that you are the church. Yeah. I mean, and then a lot of people is I got to get there for praise and worship. That, that's 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 the oh, whole yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. You miss it. Man, that yeah. band can be playing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's this person be singing. They just touch my soul. Well, that's your 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 flesh that's being touched. <laughs> yeah, it's feeding to your flesh. It's yeah, and so and so, if you can't worship like that at home, mm. what does that mean? Wow. You know, I mean, there's plenty of times I didn't tore up the the car. I don't even have carpet in my house no more. <laughs> tore it up. All the floors now. That, that mean. Did, just praising God. I mean, I dance all over this house. Come on, there. Because some of the some of the songs are real good too, right? That you can you can. Oh yeah, but I'm talking about just in worshiping God. I don't need no music, man. <laughs> and, and just the presence of God just fall on you, and you and you just thankful for a thing or a situation or circumstances or just a revelation, mm. a break mm. or anything, and you just you you can't contain it. It's just like you actually know that the presence of God has allowed that to happen in your life or made it happen or wow. forced it to happen. You know, and, and, and you pray for somebody or your child and your child gets a revelation or, or a situation or circumstance that just happened. Or you just sitting there and just the presence just overwhelms you just for no reason at all. Yeah, I'm with you, brother. I'm with you. And that's encouraging, right? That's like yeah. God. 
like John to hold my mule, man, right? Yeah. When you think about all the good, like when I was up, when I think about the good things, what the yeah. has done for me, come on now. I can dance, dance, dance. <laughs> you can just go for it. Man, yeah. I've been in my car listening to music, and all of a sudden, a part of that song <laughs> reflects yeah. something about me, and it touches me. And man, I go right into tears and and, and and the ugly face and everything. And then here come the enemy. People gonna be looking at you while you drive down the street. Let them look. Let them look. I'm they crazy. don't know what I know. Yeah. You know, they, yeah. They, look, I do not care. I don't care. That Them days is, me pleasing this world is gone. Man. Exactly. And I think that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the Lord's Prayer. We're talking about the fact that it's a, it's a kingdom. There's a world system in this God's kingdom, which mm -hmm. is a God system, right? Yep. And we need to remind ourselves, he said, repent for the kingdom of heaven, or well, the kingdom of God is at hand, that right? Yes. And, and so, when he, so when he did this, the, the part about this Lord's Prayer, brother, it's, he said it, and look, is it not being reminded of this, this Lord's Prayer? Look at it, you yep. see it, right? Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. System. That will be done yes. in, in earth. His will is his word. Yeah. His will is his word. His daily bread is, is his word. word. Look at that. He's reminding us the importance of getting into his word daily. Huh? Yeah. Then he's talking about the fact of forgiving each other, right? You, yeah. you want forgiveness? Then forgive your debtors. Yeah. And then here, look, 613, how can he lead you if you ain't following him? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, lead us not into temptation. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but you ought to be led by somebody. Yeah. <laughs> led deliver, by the devil. Deliver us uh, from the evil that we walked into. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. <laughs> and on top of that, how about us being evil? Yeah. How about those? Because you can't, those are the, the, the uh, Jim Crow laws, the slavery, slave trade, oh, all man. that stuff. That's evil. That was an evil thing. That, yeah, that, that, that was a practice. Yeah. So you're talking about deliver us from evil, deliver us from not doing evil. That's really yeah. what that need to be, right? Yeah. And then he reminds again for that, what's again, what? That kingdom, right? Mm -hmm. Your system again. Your system. For thy system. Your system. And then you sitting there hungering for power and saying God has the ultimate power, you know? Uh, and God gets the glory. We've, man wants to get his own glory. That's how they get veered off, right? I mean, yeah, and Eve could have been like, well, you want us to be just like God? I tell you what, why not just give him, I, I'd rather give him the glory because he's taking care of me. You trying to get me to be like him with the you forget it, you forgot to tell me that now I gotta give for myself. Right? Now I gotta depend on myself. Not him. Make sense? Yeah. Uh, and then once again he said, just remind people, forgive me the trespasses what you have to follow also. Well, forgive your trespasses. But fifteen is very clear, is it? What fifteen said? But if you forgive not men their trespasses, well, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. Isn't that something? That yeah. that that that's that's what he said. He did this daily. This remind you to do this daily. <laughs> Maybe not 14, 15, but the other part is I think 15 is covered. 14, 15 is covered in 12, isn't it? And forgive well, us about this. It's in the prayer, but this yeah. is just added information. Exactly. Came down to, you know, 14 and 15 is just disqualifiers, I guess, yeah, he, he, of, of the prayer. What he's saying is, it's, it's, it's the reason 12 is saying is forgiveness of my debts, mm -hmm. right? I as want forgiveness, but as I forgive my debt to Yeah. And, and then, then it's, it's explained it. in 16, 614, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Now, I like this part about 1 Timothy 2, 4. Mm -hmm. Read that for us. What, what that you will have all men be saved to be saved mm -hmm. and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. Yes, sir. And the truth is Yeshua. Exactly. He is the truth. That is what 
truth is. Yes, and he wants to he wants them to come into the knowledge of the truth. That's yes. what we try to say. Read the Bible view for yourself, yes. so you can come to the knowledge of the truth. You can't depend on somebody else. They should be in augmenting, right? I think ministries, Bible studies, everything else should augment what you're receiving from your reading yeah. and the teaching of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. He wants you to do that, you know? Because it, yeah. it, I think the reason they don't want to do it, though, is that right there. What would 12, what 12 say? So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. And I think most people don't want to do that. Yeah. That, that's you know, it, it, it's, I think it's imperative that uh, you you get a message when yeah. you church, but prior to the message, I think there should be always instruction on the gospel, how yes. to how to read the gospel, Come on. how important it is to read the gospel, how to understand. Keep this in mind when you read the gospel. Yeah. Yeah. Focus on this when you read the gospel. When you read the gospel, this means this. Yes. Now read this. You know, read and 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 I think that is not what is being done. It, it, you go to be equipped to do the work of the ministry. If you're not being equipped, then what are you being? You're just being informed about the will of the pastor. Yeah. yeah exactly. You know what you start seeing is, it's the women said, Moses, you go talk to God. Yes. And we'll hear you. And we'll hear you. Because I'd rather hear you, because I'm not accountable to you. Yeah. I don't want you to sit there in that scripture that says, I will give account of myself to God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd rather give you fall under your accountability. Yeah, because you're man and I can just disregard you. Yeah, I don't want to hear about God always with me. You mean he's with me in the back of the booth in the corner in the dark? Yeah. Then if 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 I have to acknowledge that he exists, Woo. that he's omnipresent, Woo. then I have to acknowledge that he's always present Woo. and that everything I do is subject to him. Woo. Well, wait, so what, if, what? if 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 I live that life then I have to put this flesh in check. But if I just rely on the pastor yeah. and what he's telling me, then I'm only subject to those things that he tell me and how he tells me. And then I can always use the excuse, well, I don't think he was was teaching for me anyway. He's yeah, exactly. He was exactly. talking to somebody else in this congregation. That wasn't for me. Hey, I just thought about that. You tell me what you think about that. Where would the Adam and Eve run into? <laughs> no, oh, running from, running from. Yeah, what, where what, were they running from? Yeah, no. How were they? How did they think they could hide? Yeah. First, <laughs> where, where could they go to hide? Because, because you know, if you look at it, you look at it. Adam, where are you? I ain't seen nobody. Adam showing up. You know, walking toward God. It's, it's almost like this. He, they hide, they say no. What? Yeah. Where are you? Yeah. Where are you? I'm looking right at you. I'm looking at you. See me? Look at you. Yeah. What you doing? <laughs> I can see. How many feet you pray hide and seek? So I hide. And you see where they at. Yeah. You sit there saying, well, you need to come over to hide. I can see. Yeah. <laughs> so where were they hiding? And I think the point of what I guess I'm trying to say is that even when we talk about people love darkness rather than the light mm -hmm. because their deeds are exposed, they really think that God can't see them in yeah. the darkness. No. I mean, and, and then when you think about that question, it's rhetorical. It is. You know, where are you? Do you do you know where you are? Do you now know that where you, you are? Now that you're in this position. <laughs> You know, where are you? Where, yeah. you? You know where you are because you're out of my yeah. covering now. Yeah. <laughs> you're separated from me. You're in the position that I told you you would be in. Mm. You do what you did. So yeah. do you know that's where you are now? Yeah. And obviously they did, but they weren't thinking about that. They were thinking about getting away from the presence. Yes. In the of, same of, 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 of their, their father. 
and no different than the look, children of Israel, Father. I'm concerned what they said too. No, me, no different than me. Ooh, go ahead, go ahead. Go I ahead. was young. I did yeah. wrong. Yeah, and I knew my dad was coming home. Oh, it was. You go to bed as soon as you can. Exactly. <laughs> you, get out of you, you hide under them covers. <laughs> you know, you were gonna escape that Don't person. open that. Don't open that door. <laughs> but you was held accountable. Yes. And then maybe that's the whole key is that man does not want to be held accountable. Yeah. And and you know, I thought about the other piece guys out there, but even when purgatory came up, the the Catholic Church came up with that because they said that they all going to hell. <laughs> I know they're going to hell. So let me let me let me what do you call let me dress it up a little bit. Let me let, let me give you let me give you hope that you can work your way out of hell. And don't forget the indulgence piece. And, the, and here's the, I thought, I was thinking about that the other day, Brother Asa, why, why would you want me to go to, go to purgatory to f work my way out of it, well, some kind of way? To me, I, and, and I, I really think that concept came to, to the minds of those who saw how the angels fail. Mm. They're in purgatory. Yeah, waiting to be cast into the lake. Yeah, but look, look the, the difference so, is they are not working. They're not working to get out of it. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. But 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 my thing is, I think that's their their mindset. That we it, did. That's, that's where we're gonna be, and then while we're there, maybe we can, because we're not them. Maybe we can work our way out of it. Well, don't forget they had the indulgence. You remember that, right? Yeah. They, they, your other words, brother, I was going to pay for getting his day. And it felt good, didn't it? Let me, let me, let me pay. Let me get my, my, my money, my indulgence, whatever they call it. I don't know what it's, it's called, indulgence is money. Yeah. To buy my, my, my family members out of hell. Isn't that something? Like, like, like all the resources in this world ain't God's anyway. <laughs> you're going to give them, you're going to, that's like coming in my house and grabbing the dish and handing it to me. Say, "Here's your dish." <laughs> oh, I like that. That's true, isn't it? That is. That's a good parable metaphor, isn't it? It's like, what you go? You gonna give him? What, what are you giving him to get somebody out of hell? You gonna give him <laughs> what is his? Yeah. You, you gonna? <laughs> and, and my point is said is, why don't you do what you need to do while you're alive? Yeah. So you don't have to worry about. Doing something that you you can't pay. you I don't even know how you oh. can figure you get out. But see, this is the thing: you gonna give me something that is temporary mm -hmm. to pray for something that is permanent. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed the uh, second session that we just came through. Like I said, I try to break them up in uh, 25, 30 minute segments, and I try to break them up A, B, C, and D. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you listened to the fact that we was talking about the, even the Catholic Church, the Pope is, is denouncing and addressing the doctrine of discovery, which really is the doctrine of still killing and destroying. Because that's what they did for colonialism. They took people's culture, they took people's land, they took people, and they tried to take their culture and everything else away from them. And that's not what the teaching of God was all about. And that's why I'm trying to t encourage you to read the Bible for yourself. Read it for yourself. Because that's where you'll learn to be able to recognize when somebody even actions or words or where they line up with the gospel. Too many times we go by what we heard. We go by what we heard because we know that some of the things that we hear lines up with our flesh. And our flesh desires no good thing. Or in our flesh, there's no good thing. And sometimes we have a tendency to go and lead to the things of the flesh opposed to the things of the spirit. That's why you need to read the scripture for yourself. Don't, don't, don't just go to church. Study the word of God for yourself and learn to live and be able to overcome life by keeping in the word. I have to keep in the word. It's not, faith doesn't come by heard, it comes by hearing. So we need to be able to hear the word of God daily and recognize that we grow. Even the Lord's Prayer, the daily prayer, the will of God, all the, all the word of God. So we need to make sure we stay in the word of God. 
hey, I'm really glad you took time to listen to our session. I really appreciate your support. And don't forget to subscribe. And I guarantee you, if you incorporate the old, the New Testament in the morning with your prayer, because you should be praying daily as well. If you have the time, let you get an audio book. I like I like audio books, right? Where the the the, the person is reading the scriptures for me, because that way I ain't got to struggle with all the words and all the other stuff. So I, I encourage you to use an audio book or app on your phone that reading the scripture and read that one chapter a day. I guarantee you love it because you're listening. Faith comes back here and hear the word of God. And you're also dealing with the different wordings that you may not be able to pronounce. That's just me. I mean, you probably pronounce everything. But for me, I like to read all, I like the other books to read with me. So that's what I encourage you. Don't forget to subscribe and I see you when I see you. And thank you again for listening and thank you for your support. God bless you. Bye-bye. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.